Most beginners quit YouTube because their entire workflow is super slow and overwhelming. To grow on YouTube, you need to show up consistently every single week. And to be consistent, you need to have an awesome workflow. In this video, I'm gonna show you a super easy to use workflow. Whether you're a beginner or a more experienced creator, we're gonna use Riverside for that. Grab a cup of coffee, let's get started. Hey, what is going on everybody? Hope you're all doing fantastic. My name is Julian. Let's kick off this video by answering the question, why is a fast workflow actually important? If you do not have a fast workflow, if you have to set up lights and cameras and everything from scratch every single time, you just tend to procrastinate because you feel like yeah, it's just so much of a hassle and you just do not get started. One of the most difficult things when creating something is just getting started, just turning on the camera, just hitting that record button and just actually starting to do something. And if you have a workflow that's super fast and super easy, you're just going to procrastinate less, you're going to produce more, you're going to upload more, and you're just going to reach your goals so much faster. That's why, in my opinion, this is crucially important. And trust me, I come from a place where I did not have a studio ready every time I want to, where I had to set up every single time, you know, completely from scratch. So I can tell you having something easy, fast, ready to go, where also the editing is included, which Riverside has, I'm going to show you that in just a second. This is absolutely crucial. All right, so step number one is pick a camera. Do you need something like this, a cinema camera to get started, or should you just use your webcam? In my opinion, if you're just getting started, what I would recommend that you use is just a smartphone. Like the smartphones that we carry in our pockets, especially the back cameras, pretty much all of them these days can shoot in 4K, just connected to your MacBook if you have one, or you know, to your Windows computer, and just use that as a webcam or as a camera that you can then use with Riverside. It works super fast, super easy. The only other thing I would recommend that you add to your toolkit rather sooner than later is a proper microphone. It doesn't need to be a super expensive one like this. Just a very small, tiny one like this one here. This is the Hollyland Lark M2S. You just clip this onto you and you'll just have so much cleaner sound compared to the internal audio. So that would be one of the first things that I would recommend you should invest some money into. And that is basically it when it comes to the camera setup and everything that you need to get started. Of course, you know, adding lights and even more lights and stuff, all of that is super cool. But to get started and to get to your first thousand, 10,000 subscribers, I think that's going to be what actually matters and what you need to get started. So don't overthink that. Don't think like you need to, you know, get um, a C80 or something like this to get started. Like just use whatever that you have. And if you happen to already have a DSLR or a cinema camera, then by all means, just go for it and use it. You know, it's also what I'm using right here. That's what creates this nice shallow depth the field and this nice look. It's very cool. Yes. Do you need that? Absolutely not. So just use what you have. I love this quote from Arthur Ashe, which basically says like, start where you are, use what you have and do what you can basically means just get started right now and just use the freaking thing that you have. All right. So now let's get to the really fancy stuff. Let's actually set up a recording together and let me show you the fast workflow that I have teased already. What you can see right here, this is Riverside. In case you're not familiar with Riverside yet, this is an awesome tool that lets you record videos, but you can also edit videos and you can also you know, create captions and thumbnails and everything. I'm going to show you that throughout this video. In the past, I have already shown you how this works with podcasts it's just because this is also a really cool podcast software. So you can just send a link. It's kind of like a Zoom link but it's going to record 4K videos. It has so many cool AI features built in. And now you can also just use it to record yourself and to streamline the entire process which is what I'm going to show you today. So what you can see here and these are a couple of clips that I have already recorded, but in case we want to get started with a new one, all we need to do is just click on record. And by the way, I do have a free month for you. So in case you want to try out Riverside for yourself, I will link it down below. There is the code Julian. You can just use that and you can get one month completely for free. So just click the link down in the description and just try it out whenever you can. So now this is what the first screen looks like. It says, let's check your cam and your microphone. So here, um, you know, in case I had couple of more mics. So I could also just use the, um, you know, the camera from my MacBook, but I happen to use, you know, my professional camera, which just looks a lot nicer. Also, my audio is coming from the same source and the output. In this case, I do not need an output, so I can leave it like this. And I'm also not using headphones, which would be more important, you know, if I have, if I would have a conversation. But for now, since I'm just recording myself, it doesn't really matter. 
So I just click on join studio and now you can see this is what my studio looks like. If I wanted to do a podcast style video, then all I need to do is just copy this link, send this over and then I could start recording my video, you know, my video podcast. I have done a video on this already. I will link it up there in case you want to check it out. But for now, I'm just going to close this right here. And I'm just going to focus on, you know, recording myself in the best quality possible and also in the fastest way possible. So first thing that I always like to do is I like to just come here to my settings and just check out my basic settings. You know, like, am I recording in 4K, which is the quality that I want, which is, you know, going to look so much better compared to 1080p. So that's what I want. My videos are more or less all of them are in English. So transcription language English, that is fine. And noise reduction, I do not need that because I am in a studio environment. I have a good microphone, so it's not really needed for me. So um, that's really cool. I'm happy with these settings. Um, here also, I could um, I could add or turn off the echo cancellation. Again, since I'm just you know recording by myself and I'm not talking to anyone else, I do not need that. So that is very fine. Um, that is basically it. Like when it comes to the setup, of course, you have a lot more options like you could, you know, change the layouts. But all of these things are a little more important when you're you know, talking to an, uh, someone else. But that's also, in my opinion, the beautiful thing when working with Riverside is, you know, once you've set this up, you can even create a preset. And then when you're ready to go, all you need to do is just click this record button and you're basically good to go. And this is going to get uploaded to the Internet. But even if you lose connection to your Wi-Fi or anything like this, you're still Still gonna have a 4k file bit it because it's also getting saved on your computer which is just awesome so in case also you wanted to have like i don't know a script or something like this here where you just have a couple of show notes or whatever um like you could place all of that here in this case um you could also use a teleprompter like in case i was using this camera right here on my macbook but for now, like I'm just happy with that as it is. And then all I'm going to do is just click this record button and then I'm going to record a little bit of a sample clip. And then later on, I'm going to show you how you can edit this clip. So this is what the sample clips now looks. After you're done with the recording, you can see it's getting uploaded in the background. So depending on uh, the speed of your Internet and depending on the length on how long you have been recording, it's going to go a little faster or it's going to take a little longer. But then, you know, you can actually start editing right away, which is just really cool. Let me show you how that works. All right. So this is what the editing studio inside of Riverside looks like. In my opinion, when it comes to the recording side of things, the biggest upside is that it just works super fast, super easy. You do not have to record on a camera, transfer everything over like this is super fast um, and it's really convenient also. But when it comes to the editor, I think that's where, you know, that's where a lot of upsides come in because it has so many AI tools built in. It's super fast, but I'm going to show you like what you can do with Riverside directly within. So one thing that I think is really cool, like it automatically transcribes everything. So whatever that you're recording, um, like once you um, open up the um, the editor, you already have a transcript of everything that you have recorded. For example, if you if you wanted to delete something like instead of just, you know, trying to figure out like, OK, where was it somewhere here? I um, mean, you know, cutting it out like this. What you could do is just say like, hey, I don't know, like I'm, I don't know, or this, for example, I'm not happy with this. Um, I think we should just delete that portion. Like all we can do is we just select the text right here and then I'm going to delete it and then it's gone. So if this is text based editing, basically, um, it works super fast, super easy. So um, on the right side here, you can see we have plenty of different options and I'm just going to walk you through the different options. And I'm going to show you like when I like to use which. In my opinion, one of the coolest things is the co-creator. And I'm going to show you that at last because, you know, I think this is just going to this is just the coolest thing that they have. And, you know, this is a, these are basically all of the AI tools in one general spot where you can always take them, take access of them. Next up, we have AI tools itself. And what it automatically does is it removes pauses or like we can actually, you know, let it remove pauses. So. You know, when whenever you're recording and you're thinking about something and there are some pauses inside, we can just let them be removed. Just click on apply and boom, they are done. They are gone. Next up, we had we can also remove filler words. So, you know, whenever you're recording and sometimes you have these ooms and ums and ums, especially if you're, I don't know, doing a podcast or something like this, where you're just thinking about stuff where it's not planned out, like you can just go there and, you know, delete all of these at once. Super cool. Next up, we have magic audio, which is, I think, something really cool. Like in case, for example, you do not have like a super cool setup like I do and your audio is maybe like a little bit, you know, scratchy and you have background noises or reverb going on. 
just click on magic audio and it's automatically with AI just gonna, you know, boost your voice and gonna reduce the background noises. So you're just gonna have like a, a much, you know, a much cleaner image and a much cleaner uh, sound compared to what you had before. Um, smart mute, uh, in this case, it doesn't make a lot of sense because it was just myself, but in case you had a conversation, you could just automatically mute those people that were not talking, which is just nice. Smart layouts, same thing. Like this only makes sense if you have, you know, multiple people inside of this call. We don't have that again. In case you want to learn the podcast recording side of things, again, I'll link that video up there. Eye contact, like in case, I don't know, for example, I was reading from a teleprompter and I was looking like a little bit away, like you could automatically just readjust your eyes. Um, it works sometimes a bit better, sometimes not as good. Um, this is something I think where it's just getting better and better with these AI tools. But again, in case you have some issues with that, um, you could just, um, you know, click on apply and you're basically good to go. And then you have like some creative stuff, which, um, creates basically like a, an animated version of yourself. So you can see the before and after, I don't really need that for professional purposes, but there you go. And you can also auto generate B roll. So. It's basically gonna, again, take the transcriptions that you have and all you need to do is just click on apply and then it's just gonna go to its, you know, to its sources where it has B-rolls and it's basically just over here, I can show you that. But based on the transcription that you have, it's automatically gonna add B-roll to your video, which again, is just super convenient and super fast. And it again, just speeds up the process. It's not that it automatically just does everything perfect and you do not need to change anything at all. But like the way and how I see it is this is just like a super good base point. Like you're not starting from scratch. You have something already and then you can just go and tweak it from there on, which is just really cool. And for example, if you wanted to do that manually and you just wanted to have something like, I don't know, something of uh, with with a camera, you can see it already um, generated AI B-roll. But in case I wanted to do this manually, like, you know, I have this one here, for example, in case I say, yeah, I like this. I could basically just click on it, maybe trim it to the length that I want and boom, there we go. So again, this is what I meant at the beginning of like having a fast workflow, you know, compared to, you know, doing a workflow with, I don't know, Final Cut Premiere or something like this, where I would have to subscribe to a stock, you know, a, a, a stock media site. Then I have to download it, then I have to import it, then I have to like, it's, there are so many different steps. Now I have everything in one tool and it even does that automatically, which is just really cool. And these videos, by the way, they are generated with AI and yeah, it's actually, actually pretty nice. It's also generating, um, you know, like kind of like mockups or like, um, da data stuff. So yeah, I think this is, this is just really cool that we are in a time where, you know, it's just that where we just have all of this opportunity in case, for example, we wanted to add a background or something like we can do everything. Like we can just go here to images, for example, let's say we do not want that. Um, I could go here. I could upload anything that I want. I could let it be created with AI, but I could also just go here and search for anything that I want. So again, super cool. Next up we have, um, yeah, we talked about the AI tools already. We talked about tracks, which in this case, I just have my track because I recorded everything myself and I only did it myself brand. In case you want to add a logo, you could upload your color palette and you can just, you know, brand it in your specific way that you want, which is again, super handy, super nice layout. We talked about this before and you know, it was just myself. So there is not really a layout there. Music, in case we wanted to add, you know, an intro music, for example, um, it's basically just giving us a couple of recommendations, like in what niche are we in? Is it sports or is it like true crime, business and tech? In this case, it's probably more like business and tech. So then we have an intro music, we can play it back. And so like, yeah, that's pretty good. And then we just click on the plus icon, click on the plus icon, and you can see um, we actually have it in here already. So again, super fast, super simple, super convenient. In this case, it, it, let's see another one. Let's go with lifestyle intro. Yeah, you can see it just adds that automatically to where my, where my um, cursor is at the moment. So we're just going to drag and drop this over here to the intro. And there we go. There we have it. So again, super simple, super fast. Next up is captions, which is something that I really love, especially for short form content and especially for, you know, anything that I share uh, on social media. Um, the preset that I like to use is this one here. It's like, and I, I just like to call it the Hermosi preset. 
All right, so this is a sample clip of me. And there you can see we now have the animated captions here already. Like the word that I'm saying is highlighted with green. And yeah, again, just works super fast, super simple. Um, absolutely love that. Um, next up, we have um, uploads. So um, we talked about this uh, very briefly. In case you want to upload your own images, videos, music, whatever that you want, you can do that here. In case you wanted to add another recording, click on record, images, videos, text, basically, again, super simple. And this is not the cool stuff. But now let's come actually to the co-creator, which is, in my opinion, one of the coolest things that um, that Riverside currently has to offer, and which is also, again, a differentiator to like all of the other you know options out there. The co-creator basically is your own like personal AI assistant, you could say. Um, you could just go here to suggestions here, for example, and then it's just giving you like a couple of, you know, a couple of options that you could do. Um, you could go here to quick edits, um, AI tools or promote and you know all of the things that i showed you before like you could access all of these also with the co-creator but one thing for example that is really cool like in case i wanted to have a thumbnail again based on everything that i have been saying everything that i did i just click on thumbnail and then it's you know it's thinking is basically like just you're you're chatting with chat gpt and it's actually just taking the information that it has from your transcript and it's gonna you know take the images that it has from you and it's gonna generate a thumbnail for you, which is just absolutely awesome. And there you go, within 30 seconds or so, we have how many thumbnails? Like five thumbnails already. Um, and then we can just pick like the one that we prefer most and we're basically good to go. Um, if we go back to suggestions to promote, for example, if I wanted to have, um, you know, a trail, like a promo trailer, I think this works a lot better when you have like a long form conversation where you have like an hour long conversation with a podcast and you want to have a trailer or magic clips like this works awesome. I did this a lot in the past when we were recording our own podcast. But now, for example, if I want to have, I don't know, like an episode description, like I want to have something for my YouTube description or something like this. Um, again, the AI is going to take all of the things that I said It's going to take my transcript. And based on that, I'll get my own tailored transcription. And I can do the same thing also for my title, you know, thumbnails. You saw that already. And there we go. We, we're basically good to go. Again, let's go back to suggestions. We could also enhance the visuals, which again, automatically would in this case, you know, apply layouts, add captions and just make it a little bit more polished. Um, remove unnecessary parts, which again, all of the things that I showed you to do manually, you could also do this just with basically a single button. Same thing also with the AI tools like eye contact, all of the things that I showed you before and promote. I think you can only access this um, through the um, AI co-creator. And again, something that's really cool, like this does not only work with thumbnails and video descriptions. You could also create a post for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for you know a newsletter, whatever it is. And what I think is just really cool, it's not just going to create something super generic of like send out a newsletter, um, I don't know, giving three tips about starting with YouTube. So th that's not going to be it, but it's actually just going to take the information that it has from you, that it has from from, you know, you actually, you know, saying the stuff that you said. And then based on that, you're going to get a super cool um, newsletter. So again, really cool. Um, I think Riverside is just developing in a, in a way that's absolutely awesome for us content creators. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do so. Again, I do have a free month for you. So in case you want to try it out for yourself, there is no risk. You can just basically just give it a shot and see how it fits your own workflow. I have absolutely loved using it for you know the last one and a half years now already. And I can very much and highly recommend that you check it out for yourself as well. Huge thanks to Riverside for supporting the channel, for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I read all of your comments and I'm happy to respond to all of them. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Riverside and I'll catch you guys in the next one.